cruise gear lovers. Good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you live. We are so happy to have you here today. We've had a wonderful group hanging out in the chat. We've been talking about all of our subscription boxes. We've been talking about kids, kids and cruising, all kinds of fun things. So I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday. I'm having a great one. Um, my husband's birthday week is kicking off this week. So we had lemon ricotta pancakes for breakfast this morning. One of my all time favorite flavor combinations in the world. And later today we're making homemade ice cream in my KitchenAid stand mixer. So I think it's gonna be a really nice lazy day at home. So we're excited. We have so many things we're doing today. I know that it's been a while since we've gone live. So we're kind of throwing a lot at you guys today, but I appreciate you being here with me. We're going to be introducing a new product today. This is not a subscription box. This is actually a company called SMD Cosmetics. And they got in touch with me on Instagram and said, hey, look, we really think you might like our um, In Hyunjin travel set. So they sent this to me. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to use it for a week before I told you guys all about it because this is a luxury brand and it does come with a luxury price tag. So with that said, we do have a discount code and I'll show you all the fun details later, but this is gonna be kind of the shining star of our live stream today. Yay, something new. It's so exciting. I love it. I'm also going to be um, unboxing really late, unboxing my Pura Vita Monthly Club. This is the monthly bracelet subscription. And I'm going to be showing you guys my Ipsy Glam bag for April. We're going to be doing a Target beauty box. This was the one that you bought by mail if you wanted to order it online. This was the early April box. And then you guys, I was at a Target out of town on my way to my cruise and look what I found in Target. I got the wake up and makeup box and it was really nice. I was very surprised. I think it was $7, maybe 10, but I was very impressed with it. So how's everybody doing? I want to pop into the chat. Yeah, say hey, something new. I know we're excited and it's so funny too because I've always been a fan of Korean beauty products, but of course they're not that easy to get in the United States. And we watch a lot of Korean television and I'm always fascinated with the beautiful dewy looking faces of these gorgeous girls who use all these amazing products. So I was really excited to get my hands on this and the fact that it's a travel kit is nice. I really like it. So I should just remind everybody that the discount code for this SMD Cosmetics Travel Kit is already in the description box below. It is a 20% off discount code. So make sure that you check it out down there. And let's see what everybody's doing um, in the chat. Thanks, Say Hey, for the compliment on my top. This is a, a last fall Target top. Sometimes I find little treasures at Target. Sometimes I don't. It's really hit and miss. But this one has been good to me. And I love that I can wear it in fall, but yet I kind of made it a little more springy today by adding my Apple watch band that I got on Amazon. And just kind of felt like if I added something floral, it was okay for spring. I hope it's not too fall like you guys will have to let me know. So. Yeah, Alex said, you just got started with Ipsy and love it. Yes, yes, yes. Say, hey, you got the wake up and makeup box. It's a good one, isn't it? I would say that some of the products in there are worth more than the cost of the box total, for sure. And it's, it's definitely um, chock full of goodness. So popping in to see if anybody has any questions yet. And if not, we're going to go ahead and get started with this box. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you a little bit more about it. Again, this is from smdcosmetics.com, and this is the Inhyun Jin, I hope I'm saying it right, travel kit. So this is a skincare system, okay, guys? And obviously, if you were to take it on a cruise, you'd probably take it out of the box. But when you first open the box, you will see that they give you a beautiful instructional kit, which you will definitely need, because you want to know what order to take this travel system in, right? So they have a toner for step one, and I'll show you the products now so you can see both. Step two is an essence. In the United States, we call those serums. Step three is an ampule, which is kind of like a, a place, it's, it's a cream that you put on wrinkles, dark spots, and troubled areas. And then step four is an emulsion, and step five is a night cream. So I have been using all five of them all week. On the back, they tell you exactly what to do with each of them. So the toner is um, a purifying revitalizer with ancient herbal science. And a lot of these are very, these are all very natural products as well, you guys. No animal testing, nothing like that. The company has been around for 20 years, but they just started selling in the US in 2017. So that's why you probably haven't heard about it as much about them just yet, but you, you will start to hear about them. Um, so anyhow, we've got the toner, which is step one, which you actually just apply with your fingers. So you take the toner, no need to put it on a cotton pad or anything like that, and then you just blot it all around the skin. It feels really good and refreshing. I have been using this as my nighttime skincare routine because in the morning when I'm 
getting ready for work, I don't have as much time, and I'm focused more on sun protection during the day. So again, I'm using this after I remove my makeup in the evening and before bed. So after I cleanse and remove all the makeup, this starts here, okay? So it's more of a moisturizing um, luxury kind of uh, kit. I'm checking to see if we have any questions coming in yet. All right, so this, um, the first step here is the toner. You wash your face first. This does not come with a face wash, this kit. And then you apply a little, bit, a little bit of this to the face. So you dab it onto the face, no cotton ball necessary. That's number one. And then number two is the essence, which again, we call serums in the US market. And this one looks pretty identical to the other one. So thankfully it says essence on the back in teeny tiny letters so you know which one you're dealing with. But I've left mine in the box so I can remember what order they're in. It's actually kind of funny. So this is after you use the toner, you apply it to the face and neck. You can do this day and night, but again, I've just been doing it at night for purposes of trying it out before I recommended it to you. So they say to gently massage in an upward and outward motion, allowing the nutrients to absorb into the skin. I really like the way this feels. I This is my favorite step of the process. So so far after you put the toner on this sort of just feels like it's putting vitamins right into your skin and I really like the way that that one feels okay so next up is the ampule this is the one that you rub around your eyes or the areas with deep wrinkles. So you pat it on, and this can also be used day and night. You can use it, um, it's like a super serum, and they say it can be used once a week or more. So this doesn't have to be a part of the five-step process if you don't want it to be, but I've actually used it every day, and I've really enjoyed it. So I kind of treat it like my eye cream. I've been blotting it around the eyes and on the lids, and it's been, it seems to be very moisturizing and fine for everyday use. Okay, step four is the emulsion. I want to make sure I have this right. Yes, this is the little emulsion. So this one feels like a little bit of a moisturizer, but they're calling it a refining moisturizer with ancient herbal science and anti-aging qualities. So this goes on face and neck in the daytime. Again, though, I've been using it at night, so I think that you can break the rules and use this kit however you feel that you would like to, okay? All right, and our last step in the process here is the intensive night repair um, herbal science anti-aging cream. So this is after you put on the emulsion. Again, this one is sounding like that you're, you know, you're able to use it at any time of day. You pop this cream on face and neck and you just use the upward and outward motion. So that's the kit, you guys. That is the process. This is a $125 product. It is not inexpensive, but again, we have a 25%, excuse me, 20% off discount code in the comments below, the description below, and this would be a really nice thing to take for travels. I've really enjoyed it. I felt like my skin has been getting kind of extra pampered this week. I'm gonna be really sad when this is gone because it reminds me, and I think some of you might be able to identify with this, but I don't know if any of you had grandmothers or mothers, have grandmothers or mothers who do like the full skincare routine at night. Um, I used to watch my grandmother use her full, uh, her full skincare system. She would go in with the toner, the cleanser, she'd pull her hair back, she'd put on her creams, and she would walk out of the, the restroom at night like just glowing and beautiful. And that's how I have felt when I use this. And I've also just been so fascinated with Korean beauty that I think it was something I was so excited to try. So I do recommend it. I have tried it. I love it. I think it's great. So if you guys take advantage of it, do let me know what your impressions are of the product or if you try something different from SMD Cosmetics. I would love to hear from you. They have all kinds of different products that have been around for a long time that people seem to love and that make a huge difference in their skincare regimen. So yeah, let's see what everybody's up to. Oh, hello. We have some folks from Australia. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Tammy. All right. Let's see. Anything you wanted to point out, Mr. Cruz from CV? Just saying hi. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, go ahead. There's some questions for my merch on. Oh, okay, no problem. I will go ahead um, and take care of it. Was Say Hey is one of them? Say Hey was okay. one of the questions, yes. Yeah, Say Hey, we've linked to the, the uh, a way to get this product in the description box below. It's from smdcosmetics.com. They are also on Instagram and Facebook as SMD Cosmetics. And this is called the In Hyun Jin uh, Travel Set. And this is a five-piece set. Definitely linked already in the description box below if you want to find it, okay? So hopefully that... And Stephanie Chase would like to know if the wake up to makeup is worth the money. Ooh, we're going to find out soon. We're gonna, why don't we open that one next? Hey, SoCal Seth. Yes, OG in the house. Hey, SoCal Seth. Um, I don't know if Mr. Cruz of TV missed this yesterday, but do you, you and um, SoCal Ginger made me think we should make an OG subscriber shirt. Don't you think? OG is like original, like you're the original crew. Mr. Chris of TV is like, what does that mean? What does I'm that so mean? Ignorant. I'm not that cool either, for the record. I, I've only learned what OG meant in the last year, 
But yeah. I think it would be really cool. So what we have to do is think of how to make a design that's kind of unique, or we could maybe add it to one of our other designs. So Seth, if you have any design concepts or ideas you want to just like throw out there casually, Mr. Cruz Tips TV might be able to put it into action. Depends on how complicated it is. So no, let have, me know. I have nothing else to do. So. Yes, yeah, nothing else to do. Oh yeah, we have no projects right now. We're just, you know, idling along. Um, my shirt, Ms. Color Gray, is from Target last fall. I know, it was like 12 bucks or something. I, I do, uh, on occasion, get really lucky at Target. Um, Jay McFarr, yes, I looked on the website today and it does look like they ship to Canada. Um, interestingly enough, not they do not ship to Australia or, or I believe, oh shoot, I closed the website out. They ship to a lot of European countries and Canada. I do not believe they ship to Australia. I did not see that. But um, my understanding is that they do have free shipping at $100. I don't know what countries that applies to, but we can kind of check that out. So, <laughs> so Kyle Seth is down for that kind of shirt. That is so funny. All right, guys, let's go ahead and um, move on to the wake up and makeup box because it sounds like everybody's really curious about this one. So here comes the wake up and makeup box. I could not get this online, so I got this at a Target on the way to my cruise because my Target locally didn't have any of the boxes. Some Targets still have these in stock, you guys. I think it's one of those things where they're gonna keep them in stock until they sell out. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, help me keep an eye out for questions if you can. Okay, so I've already opened this. Full disclosure, this is not a legit unboxing because I've already opened it, but I'm gonna tell you what is in here real quick. I'm gonna give you a summary. We have brush cleaning wipes, a blending brush, a face palette, uh, Dove Dry Spray Invis Invisible Sheer Fresh, which is a deodorant spray, by the way. We have a Dove Dry Shampoo in Coconut, which is my probably my favorite product. And then we have a Peacock Flare Mascara in Extreme Black and an Honest Beauty refresh Refreshingly Clean Makeup Remover Wipes. Okay, so let's open it up. Um, here is the Beautifully Bare Blending Brush. That's a lot of bees from e.l.f. So this is a cute little blending brush to add to your brush portfolio and it also comes with a nice little brush cover, which I think is really nice. Next up, we do have the mascara and this is a full size, guys. So this is the Peacock Flare Mascara in 785 Extreme Black. I just saw this the other day at Target and I wish I would have noticed what the full price was because I can guarantee it was probably pretty close to the price of the box. This is the dry spray invisible, no white marks on your dress. This is actually not a deodorant, my apologies. This is just an antiperspirant, so it does not contain a deodorant. Pretty cool, okay. And then we have a Dove Fresh Coconut Dry Shampoo. Absolutely stoked about this. I can never get enough Dove shampoo. I mean, excuse me, dry shampoo. And this is a 1.15 ounce. This is a yay, yay, yay for a cruise, right? You guys talk about a good thing for a cruise. I'm stoked about that. Okay, next up, we have a teeny tiny quick dry makeup brush wipe. Has anybody ever used a makeup brush wipe? I have never used one of those. I'm very interested to see how that works. Next up, we have an e.l.f. Natural Glow Face Palette. I'm not a huge fan of the e.l.f. brand, but I will say that putting a full-size makeup palette in a box like this is pretty attractive. It comes in a beautiful mirrored case. I'm gonna flash you guys if I'm not careful. And the four items in here appear to be a bare bronzer, highlighter, and two blushes. So I'm gonna open it up and hopefully I can cover up the mirror so it doesn't flash you guys in the eyes. Should be pretty easy. So this is the palette here. The blushes look like they're pretty similar in color, but they're very neutral, kind of peachy. Okay. Oh, SoCal Seth said OG being a hip hop term, original gangsta, but it can be translated to old school, original crew, etc. You are so street, SoCal Seth. Mr. Mr. Christian TV, you are so enlightened. I really should have known it meant original gangsta. I should have known that. I think I've heard it before, but I'm just so uncool. Okay. So yeah, Eve, you can buy them in stores. I know, sounds good. Yes, Faye Ray, I do watch Korean TV. We've found that Korean dramas are actually kind of family friendly, some of them. So we've watched Korean dramas ever since my son was little. Not all the time, but some time. Okay, Megan Lee Ewing says, Peacock Mascara is great, but get the waterproof. The regular smears and flakes. Good tip, and I don't believe this one is. So this is a nice e.l.f. palette. I will use that for the bronzer. And the highlighter, without a doubt. I'm excited to try that one. You can never get too many bronzers and highlighters, right, you guys? Okay, what else is in this box? There is more. There is more. Okay, so then the last item is the refresh Refreshingly Clean Makeup Remover Wipes. So these are just good old-fashioned, honest beauty 
um, very pure, minimal ingredients, um, dermatologist tested sheets. There's seven of them in here. Okay, cool. All right. Let's see, did I miss any products? I think I got them all. This is pretty tiny. I would say that Sonia Kashuk one is just a sample, but I think we got them all. This does not come with a coupon, you guys. I did wanna just let you know that it does not. Cheryl, new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. We have a fun new pop-up on our screen now when someone subscribes and we get to give you a little kudos live. So welcome and thank you so much. Stacy. I think that box was $7 in store, but I'm gonna go ahead and just Google it for you. Target, wake up and makeup. Let's see how much that costs. It's $7, it's out of stock online, but I do believe that they still have it in store. Sorry guys, I had a little bit of a runny nose. Please forgive me, I know that's gross. Um, so yeah, that's the Target one. The box is huge, by the way, huge. So I liked this one. Um, now, one thing I'll say, they call it wake up and makeup, so it's like a combination of you know, a few fun invigorating products and makeup, but I would have been happy if it was all makeup. I would have thought that was pretty cool. So why don't we move, since we're on Target, why don't we move to our April Target beauty box? This one looks very big. I think this one was $7, but it's been a while since I bought it. Megan said the brush wipe is good for a quick clean, but not for a proper clean. Yes, that sounds about right to me. Thank you, Megan. A standard beauty box. Um, this one is called Hello Natural Beauty. So it looks like we're gonna be focusing on natural beauty products today. Here's what the card looks like. Now that spring is in the air, there's no better time to adopt an au naturel beauty routine. I couldn't agree more. Inside this box, you'll find a few of our faves that'll, that'll do you and the earth a world of good. Try them out. And if you love them as much as we do, find the full size version at target.com forward slash beauty box. There is a link to the Target website in the description box below. You do have to search beauty box once you get onto the site. I do believe this one is sold out, you guys. You have a $3 coupon here for a purchase, a beauty purchase of $15 or more. That coupon expires um, on May 6th, so you have to use these quickly. All right, let's take a look after I have a sip of my tea. All right, guess what guys? SMD Cosmetics is in the chat. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, we did love the Inhyun Jin travel set and I hope I'm saying it right. I was going with my gut, the, the phonetics of it looked right, but that is so awesome of you guys to join us. And very kind of you to send these to us to introduce them to our audience. We really appreciate it and thank you for joining the chat. All right, so let's take a look and see what we have going on here with the Target Beauty Box, everybody. So we have something I've never seen before. This is a Method Body Coconut Rice Milk and Shea Butter Body Wash. This is wonderful for a cruise, 3.4 fluid ounces, so we're right up there on the TSA limit, right? So cool, okay. And then next up, we have another product I've never seen before. Love Beauty and Planet Coconut Water and Mimosa Flower Volume and Beauty Shampoo in three ounces. You guys, don't you love it when you get a full-size shampoo in one of the boxes? Isn't it the best thing ever? I think it's so cool because you can actually stretch it out for several days. It's not like a sample packet where you get one use out of it and then you throw it in the trash. Ah, uh, and y'all know how I feel about getting a matching conditioner when you get a shampoo. Yes, indeed, Beauty and Planet has included a volume and bounty conditioner. I'm so excited. I love this. I always need them. Let's give them the sniff test. Let's see if they're, oh, they're not sealed. It's very fresh. Oh, it smells so nice. I can't really explain it. It is, um, I usually try to do a good job of telling you when they're floral or kind of a greener scent or musky scent. It is none of those things. It's straight up clean and it's pretty heavily fragrancy. <laughs> So Cal Seth said you put the lime in the coconut. I know, right? Isn't that so funny? Oh my goodness sakes. Okay. Ooh, what is this? You guys, a natural deodorant from Target. These are expensive. Look at this. It's Schmidt's Rose and Vanilla Natural Deodorant. This is so cool. Now you have to smell this, right? I'm gonna give you a little idea of the texture of this deodorant too. How awesome is this box for a cruise so far? Oh, that smells so good. Oh my goodness. Goodness sakes, you guys, it smells more like rose than vanilla, and I absolutely love the scent of rose. This is exciting to me. I love it, and I really have been trying to use more natural deodorants lately. This may be TMI, but especially on the weekend when you're not getting as sweaty, you're not in a situation where you're having as much stress maybe, and you just don't need as powerful of a deodorant. So generally I use that crystal roll-on type and I have a few other natural ones that I've tried, but I'm always excited to try new ones. So yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes. 
Did Eve, Eve, is your OG title in your name part? Well, I, I just, I'll, we're gonna talk about that later. Never mind. I, I couldn't gather my thoughts fast enough, but I have a question for you about that later. Yeah, Eve, you like the, uh, you like the scent test. So Cal Seth, me too. I, I mean, this is, it is tiny. It really is small, but what we've been doing lately on cruises is my husband and I will take a couple of travel size. Like I'll take two or one and then he'll take one and then sometimes we end up sharing them. Um, you just never know, but we run out of them pretty fast too. The travel sizes go really quickly, definitely. Okay, let's see here. I got, we got lots of K-drama fans in the house today, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, isn't that cool? Oh, you guys, another Rose product. This is the uh, Nourish Organic Lightweight Moisture Face Lotion. Argon and rose water, normal to dry skin. I am obsessed with this box, you guys. I'm loving all the products that I've never seen before and the natural products, these are cool. Then we have a Waleda Skin Food. Um, this looks like some kind of a, a face cream, yeah. So this is for dry and rough skin. I will be enjoying this. It doesn't necessarily look like you have to just put this on your face though. It might be kind of a, let me read a little bit more about the Skin Food one. It's a moisturizer formulated with wholesome plant oils and extract. Hmm. It, it says, oh, great for elbows, hands, and feet. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, last product in the box is a clarifying mud mask from a brand I have heard before from Shea Moisture. So this is a unique uh, mask. I'm, it feels like kind of a liquid clay mask. So yeah, Cruiser Life just made a super chat. Thank you so much, Cruiser Life. We really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. All right, so there is the mud mask. What an awesome box, you guys. What did you think about the Target um, the Target Natural Beauty box this month? Please let me know. I have to say, I am I have not been this excited about a Target box in such a long time, and I almost skipped it this month. Shame on me. I would have been so bummed if I had done that. Hi, Wendy, welcome. So happy to have you here. Um, t -Sin, you want me to post a picture of the deodorant? I can do that, but let me just give you a close-up of it, okay? Here you go. It's Schmidt's Rose and Vanilla Natural Deodorant. Is that good? Okay, cool. Hopefully that gave you just a little bit more of a peek of it. Okie dokie, wow, we have some new folks joining the chat. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> you guys are so funny today, everybody's cracking me up. I love our Cruise Gear channel. This is our fun little crazy family over here, isn't it? And I gotta give a big, a big shout out to SoCal Seth and any other guys in the house, because I gotta tell you, it takes a lot of um, dedication to your Cruise Tips TV family to join these beauty and toiletry chats, and I am always very impressed when you do, so thank you for that, very impressed. Okay, next up, let's go ahead and do our um, Ipsy unboxing today. This is my monthly Ipsy bag, and I do believe that I got some extra products in my Ipsy glam bag, so I'll try to remove those and show you what they are before I go into the bag. Sometimes what happens is I get little bonus points. When you guys use my referral link, I get little bonus points, which you can too, by the way. Remember, you guys have referral links too that you can share with your friends for Ipsy. And when you write reviews on your products or when your friends sign up using your link, you get little, um, you get little bonus points and you get to redeem them for things. And that is exactly what I did this month. So I'm gonna show you the bag first. It's so beautiful. Pretty little spring bag with butterflies on it and some little metallic corners and a very nice metallic zipper. I love it. Always comes with a little card, but the card doesn't always describe the products because everybody gets different Ipsy products. Ipsy is a monthly subscription. It is $10 per month. And I am hoping that all five of the items are in here, but I feel like one of them may not be and I don't know which one I ordered. Okay, I think that the brush is the fifth item. So let me show you the brush first. This is a Moda brush. This looks like, kind of like an eyeshadow blending brush, I'm pretty sure. Oh, SoCal Seth, what's Teague Hanley? Is that a subscription box? Yes, box. Oh, cool, I'll have to look into that. That sounds really great. Okay, I might actually jump onto the Ipsy website, you guys, really fast because I am uh, I'm a little bit confused about which items are included and which ones I bought as bonus items, and I really want to give you good information. So bear with me. I'm actually pulling up the Ipsy app right now. You have a question? No, I would it? say that while you're doing that, mm -hmm. if anyone is interested in these men's product that SoCal Seth has um, 
mentioned, let us know in the in the comments below after it's saved, mm -hmm. and we'd be definitely willing to check them out. Sure. Also, uh, I'd like yeah. to say that since um, hey, now I've lost the name of the cosmetics. Uh, SMD Cosmetics. Yes, since yes, who we feature today. Mm -hmm. Since they are here, or hopefully still here, if you have any questions, it's probably a great time to ask questions. Good idea. There. Yeah. I'm not sure they're still here, but if you do want to ask SMD Cosmetics any questions about their product line, do go for it, and we'll try to get them answered for you afterward if they're not still here. Okay, you guys, I did figure out what five items I actually... Um, got in my box and which were bonus items. So the bonus items that I got with my points were this little coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer, which is totally my jam. This is a 9.6 gram, so 0.34 ounce moisturizer, but I really do like First Aid Beauty as a brand, so I added that one this time. And then I got another product from um, Pacifica Beauty, which is a wonderful natural California-based skincare um, company. And I will show you really quickly. This is called Beach Crystals. And if you're an Ipsy Glam Bag subscriber and you have extra points available, you might like getting this. It is really wedged into the box though, so I'm having a bit of difficulty. All right, um, Canada. You can't buy from our Amazon store in Canada, but we have an exclusive affiliate link that you can shop the Amazon store and we do get credit for it and we really do appreciate that. So what I will do is after this saves, I will put it in the comments, not the description box. I'm gonna have to manhandle this, you guys. So yes, you can shop Amazon using our affiliate, unique affiliate Canada link is basically what I'm trying to say. What they did is they, I think to, in order to protect this shadow palette, you guys, they taped it to the box. Okay, so this is the pretty little um, Pacifica shadow palette. And they also sell these at Target. I'll try to open it if I can, but I think it's also taped shut. And I don't want to ruin my nails. Yep. So what we have here is a couple of neutrals and some purple. So I use my extra points for that and the coconut cream. And again, here is the bag, just so all of you can see that really quickly. And the items that I got were, this is the dirty little secret um, this is some kind of a lip balm in Nude Beach. I usually don't use lip balms because I'm so addicted to lip scents that I generally don't, but this has a gorgeous glitter to it. Oh, I wonder if you guys can see the glitter in this. It's so beautiful. I wanna try to swatch it a little bit. I'm gonna try to swatch it on my hand, but it is so nude that I'm really afraid you will not be able to see what I can see, which is a gold fleck in the product, this is gorgeous. I will use this on weekend mornings and things like this. This is a DLS lip gloss, that's the first product. The next one is an SPF 30 once finishing cream. I will totally use this because it's travel size and has an SPF in it. So I will add this to my sun care regimen for travel. That is a beautiful item. Next up, we have a really pretty package here. That liquid glow though from Trust Fun Beauty. This is a liquid highlighter, which I'm really excited about. I do like the brand Trust Fun Beauty. I think it's great. And this is what the little container looks like. This is a 0.27 ounce. This will last forever though in a liquid highlighter. Yes, a great lip topper, Megan. That is so true. Yeah, top box from Toronto, huh, Lisa? Buttered popcorn, how many lip scents do I have? I probably have at least 20. So Cal Seth, unicorns and glitter. I love it. You guys are so funny. Oh my goodness sakes. Okay, next up we have a Luna eyeshadow. The color here is, let's open it up and find out, a spiced pumpkin. Ooh, I'm excited to see that. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is so me, you guys. Look at this, it's 100% my favorite color. I love those copper penny colored shadows to kind of just press down along the lash line and they, are, they give a little drama and a little shimmer. 100% nailed it with this one. So I'm pretty happy. These are the five items from my Ipsy Glam Bag this month. I'm actually excited about all of them. I like them all. When I saw it online, I wasn't as excited. For some reason, you get to peek and have teasers when you do the Ipsy Glam Bag. And I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. It looks okay. I don't really want lipstick anymore. But now that I've seen that gold fleck in there, I'm really stoked about it. What do you guys think? Is this a nice one? Nice brush. My entire brush collection, pretty much, except for the most recent one I bought at Target, is for my Ipsy Glam Bags. It has really upped my brush game, and I am stoked that I don't have to buy them per se, but I do think I'm making out like a bandit on getting them in my um, in my subscription boxes because brushes are expensive, you guys, right? Okay, yeah, say hey, isn't it pretty? I know, I love it. 
You got the highlighter too, Butter Popcorn? Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Nice. Okay. Amy, my lip sense does not feel sticky, but when my mom tried lip sense for the first time, she felt the same way. I don't remember if I thought that. I don't think that I did. In fact, now I think other lipsticks are sticky. So the gloss does take a little bit of time to get used to, but I, I don't find it to be that way anymore. It is definitely something though with lip sense, I really believe that you have to get used to it. You know, it's, it's an acquired, it's an acquired process, lip senses. But what happens is you start appreciating things like not having lipstick on your cup. And that was something that I absolutely hated. I hated seeing my lipstick on my cup. So for me, that trade-off alone is huge and not having to reapply lipstick at work or when I'm traveling or whatever, constantly throughout the day, just put more lip gloss on is a big deal for me. All right, so our last unboxing today, you guys, is um, going to be a Pura Vida Monthly Club from Pura Vida Bracelets. Yeah, I know, Stacy. we should have a place to sell all the things we don't want. So what we do is at work, um, in my day job, my um, colleagues and I, we get together every couple of months and we swap out things that we didn't use from our beauty bags or beauty boxes, because we all kind of have different things and we trade them. And it's really, really fun. Sometimes I gift things too. FabFitFun extras that you get, if things that you're not gonna use in your FabFitFun box, those are amazing gifts. Say hey with the, Epsi, with the Ipsy bags, I gift them a lot of times. I use them too, but a lot of times I gift them. Okay, so. Pura Vida Monthly Club. Pura Vida is a monthly bracelet subscription. It is $15 a month and it is the coolest thing ever. Of all of my subscription boxes, this is the one I miss the most if it doesn't come on time. I'm wearing an old one right here. I don't even know if this is a matching club um, pack or if it's just three that I mixed and matched. I honestly can't remember, but these are so great. We do have an affiliate link that is in the description below. We do get a small percentage if you sign up on your first one and it totally helps. So thank you for those of you who have done that before. So they always send a sticker, you guys, it's so cute. They always send a sticker and information about how they're creating jobs worldwide um, when they send you your monthly club pack. So drum roll, please. Let's open this little beauty. I have seen the spoiler online. Hopefully you guys are ready for this and I'm not spoiling it for you if you have a subscription, but I am so late opening it that I think you have probably already opened it if you have it. All right, so Canada, how do I travel with my makeup brushes? I'll have Mr. Cruise Tips TV go uh, grab my brush kit out of my bathroom. I will show you. I just recently got a brush kit at um, Target that I am very happy with. So I keep it in a brush roll. They have beautiful ones at places like Ulta and Target and things like that. So we'll, we'll show you. My beauty blender, I actually put in my main cosmetics bag. Okay, the monthly subscription Hilda for Pura Vita bracelets is $15 per month. I think it's $14.99, yeah. Okay, so here's the first of the, um, the bracelets. Do you guys, do they shorten the strings on these? They look shorter to me. How funny. So this is a nice basic aqua color. Oh, maybe they didn't shorten them. See how long they are on me? My wrist is, my wrist is just too, too small. Okay, the next one is this absolutely gorgeous blue I don't know what you call it, some kind of an eye, I think. Canada, my top is from Target. Thank you, Mr. Cruise Tips TV. I will show that off in just a moment. Thank you so much. So here's the second one, you guys. Look at this blue. I've never, I don't remember ever getting something in this gorgeous um, bright color blue from um, Pura Vida Monthly Club before. It's so pretty. So I'm putting this, um, the stack on while we do it. And then, oh, look at this beaded one. It's so gorgeous. So this is a, a bracelet that is braided and along the braid it has alternating little metal beads and smaller bright cobalt blue and aqua little teeny tiny beads hopefully you can see that well this is so beautiful you guys i love this set so much this is a gorgeous stack the quality on this one alone is huge um, i wonder if you can see here that they have tied the bracelet off with more beads isn't that pretty so here is the completed stack. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I'm obsessed. I love it. I'll probably change my clothes today just so I can wear it with something that matches it. So 
yeah, that completes all of our unboxings from today. Tell me what you guys think about the SMD Cosmetics Art of In Hyun Jin. I know this is a um, this is a more of a premium product with a premium price tag. So I'm curious if this is something that you like seeing on this channel, if this is in your price range or not. It's okay to be honest with me. Just let me know. That's what we're here for. Okay. And they are, they are still here with us. Oh, cool. So again, if you have any questions for SMD Cosmetics, Excellent. it's perfect time. Oh, great. Excellent. If anybody has questions for SMD, shoot them in the chat. And then I wanted to show you my roll, my brush roll that I have just recently bought at Target. I can get a link for you to, this is a Sonia Kashuk brush roll. And this is where I keep all of my brushes. It has this little shield over the top. And when I'm getting ready in the morning, what I do is I simply peel back the shield just like that. And then all of my brushes are exposed. It's not the cleanest, most beautiful thing. But you can see I have an eyelash brush in here. I've got my eyebrow brush. I keep my eyeliners in here. I have brushes for my latest um, Target Sonia Kashuk kit that I bought. Did I tell you guys that on my way to my cruise, I realized I forgot my blush brush at home. So I had to buy, stop and buy a new one. And instead of buying one, I bought a whole kit because it was just a better value. So brushes and eyeliners all right in here. And it rolls up nicely. My finger is stuck in this little chain. There we go. It rolls up nicely and it has a tie on it. So you just kind of tie it shut like that. And I do have a matching cosmetic bag. I know Megan will probably remember me showing these off in my pack with me videos for toiletries before we left on our last cruise. And she asked me if the other cosmetics bag was big enough. And actually, Megan, it actually kind of turned out to be a little bit on the smaller side for my taste, but it worked. All right, let's see what everybody is saying here. Okay, great. So it sounds like Isabel's glad that we showed off the SMD Cosmetics set today because you like seeing skincare and makeup products that are natural ingredients. Bonnie likes my brushes. Wonderful, thank you. Um, Yul Sabel needs some help putting products together for a gift basket to celebrate your daughter's sweet 16. Oh, let's see if we can't help her out. So you want a gift basket for on the cruise? Yolisa Bell, they sell some nice gift items on board as well. You could have them waiting for you in the stateroom. So go on to Carnival's website and see if there's any gift options there. One thing that's funny that I really like having is a fruit basket on a cruise. When you get into the room and you're hungry after your, you know, your embarkation day, a fruit basket or some chocolate dipped strawberries can be a really nice gift. So you might want to think of something you don't have to pack with you, but rather you can just order it on the ship. That can be a nice thing too, but they have other options. So. Yes, April, I do have a link posted for SMD in the description box below, as well as a discount code for 20% off. If for any reason you don't see it, please let me know, but it should be at the top of the description. Okay, great. I want to see what else everybody is saying. Okay, let's see here. Um, I hope I've answered all the questions today. Why don't we take a moment to, um, any questions that you want to ask now is a really, really good time, you guys. April, I'm glad you found the link. No problem at all. It's really hard to look at the description box while you're watching a live stream, so I totally get it. Please don't worry. Yeah, Seth, you're right. Another reason to go to port a day early to pick up what you forgot. And Seth, you're so right. We don't even have to do that because we're within driving distance. But to alleviate stress, that's something that our family always does because you don't know what you're going to forget. And it's just so nice to be able to get up in the morning and not have to drive four or five or however many hours to your port if you're driving. So we do. We'll spend $120, $30 and get a hotel when it makes sense. And it definitely did for us. Yeah, April, you're, I'm glad you found the, the discount code. Let me know what you end up buying. Um, they have a lot of different products. Not all of them are travel size. They have a lot of full size things, but this one was what they wanted us to show to you because it, it's travel related and it just makes the most sense. So Erica, what to do in St. Kitts? I have heard Erica that on your first trip to St. Kitts, it's really good to do an island tour because you really want to get the lay of the land. Once you've been to St. Kitts before, I've heard that getting a day pass at a resort can be really great. We're still working on getting that port section of our website up and running. It's not ready yet, but eventually we'll get there. AZ Girl wants to know how dry shampoo works. How do you apply it? You apply it to your roots when your hair is getting a little bit less fresh. So in between shampoos, what you would do is kind of lift the hair a little bit and apply it at the roots all around the hair so that you can get that oiliness out. Dry shampoo is kind of designed to give your hair a refresh and make it look less oily. Buttered popcorn, I think we've been on two or three Royal Caribbean cruises. It has been a while. We've been more on other lines. Hi, Maymay. That's okay that you're late. We love having you. 
Okay, bridge tennis. We haven't used packing folders yet, but I know that my husband would love them because he's that kind of a packer. I don't have the patience to use a packing folder. There's no way you would ever catch me doing that because I'm more of like a move fast kind of a girl, but he's a very precise man. Um, Holly, the Pura bracelets hold up very well when they get wet, and yes, you can shower or swim with them on, and I always use my husband as the example. He has Pura bracelets that are very masculine, and he has been wearing them every day of his life with no break since last Father's Day. Shower, swim, ocean, everything. He wears them all the time. How are they holding up, honey? Are they getting a little beat up yet? Yeah, it's been a year, and he wears them. I have found that some of mine with metals on them, so some of the, the beaded styles, if you wear them in the ocean a lot, they're gonna get a little uh, dull and rusty looking. But that, that's par for the course, but my husband has not had that experience. So, okay. Um, Emily, would Mo Bay Roatan be a good beach day? It's a port on your, yes, I think it would. I'm not super familiar with it, but you, um, you definitely should consider that. Um, Ms. McC Ms. Color Gray, do I suggest a sunblock for Alaska or something to ward off insects? Okay, that's a really good question. For Alaska, for sunblock, we do recommend one, but my best recommendation to you is to take a good facial sunscreen because it's gonna be your face, neck, and possibly your hands and arms that are gonna be in the sun, right? Because you're not gonna be walking around that much in a swimsuit. Now, we go in the hot tubs and the pools in Alaska when we sail with Princess because they're heated, so we do need sunscreen. But for day-to-day -day use, I would recommend that you get something for your face, neck, and hands, and that you have it with you at all times, and you do wear it because you will have sunny days, most likely, on your Alaska cruise. Now, the insect thing depends on where you're going. If you are going to just simply be walking around port, or if you're, say, for example, you're going on the White Pass Rail, and you'll mostly be indoors, you probably don't need insect repellent. But I got eaten alive by bugs when we went on a bear walk in Ketchikan. So we went to an area near streams. We went to Alaska Rainforest Sanctuary. And you can actually see in the vlogs the before and after of a giant bug bite on my neck. I mean, we're talking like massive mosquitoes. So yeah, I would take a little bit of insect repellent, but you shouldn't need a lot. And you should only need it when you're doing outdoor activities. Okay. Um, lots of questions coming in. Buttered popcorn, our favorite room to stay in would be a mini suite, if we can afford it, which usually we don't book because we don't want to spend the extra money. Okay. I know there's more questions coming in. Looks like, Mr. Cruz, are you showing them what a packing folder is? Awesome. Then you've got that one covered. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay. Good stuff, you guys. Okay, so and Ms. Amy said South Friar Beach is great in St. Kitts, and that is always good to know. Thank you very much for that suggestion. Did I just see a super chat pop up in the house? Was that Bonnie? Bonnie, thank you so much. Bonnie, Bubba, Princess, all these are wonderful OG loyal fans. Thank you so much. Um, Faye Ray, are all the pools heated on Grand Princess in Alaska? Generally speaking, yes, they do a pretty darned good job of it. Okay, let's see here. Um, Canada says, I know it's not gear related, but we're planning our honeymoon to Alaska. I've been watching your videos. Do you recommend you start in Vancouver to, for two days and then embark or go um, outside passage? Oh, okay, so you know what, Canada? They're both great. So you could do a Seattle round trip if you wanted to, or you could do Vancouver. I personally have never done the Vancouver. I've done Seattle a few times. I want to do the Vancouver embarkation. So if the ship that you want to sail on goes out of Vancouver, do it. I've heard Vancouver is a spectacular city, and I definitely recommend that you do that. Um, Bridge Tennis wants to know if I've done a park and stay at my home port. Not really Bridge Tennis because we always just park at the port, but I do understand that Hotel Maya in Long Beach has some good park and stay options, and there's other hotels that do it, and I think someday we might because parking at the port of Long Beach is getting really expensive. Okay, let's see what other questions are coming in. Mrs. Amy, you do not need water shoes for Nachi Kakom, in my opinion. So I think you should be okay. Um, Bonnie, I will email you the answer to that question. Okay. All right, you guys, I think we're doing pretty good on answering questions here. So we're gonna go ahead and sign off. Special thanks today to SMD Cosmetics for popping into the chat. 
to um, acknowledge their beautiful Art of In Hyun Jin travel set. This is an awesome five piece kit. Again, everything that we've talked about today, you guys, including the new Korean travel set, is linked in the description box below. We do currently have a discount code for this Korean beauty box and any other product on the SMD Cosmetics website. And if you purchase something over $100, they do offer free shipping to the United States. So thank you all so very much. Wheezy, we'll try to find out about the male shaving subscriptions for you. If anybody knows of any male shaving subscriptions for Wheezy, leave it in the comments. Thank you all so very much for watching and we will see you again soon. We are gonna be popping back up into our Cruise Gear channel with some new product reviews soon and we'll announce those dates on Facebook and Instagram mainly. That's a great place to follow them. And of course, you'll see our live events pop up here if it's going to be a live stream. Until next time, get in gear and get cruising. Have a great Sunday. First mate of the week. Uh...